the most popular pet birds. Oh, oh boy, that's a loud. Choosing a pet can be an impossible task. <laughs> no, 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 no. Especially when it comes to birds. Each one is different, so you should carefully choose the one for you. In this video, you'll see the best options. Domestic Canary. I told, I told a putty tat a tweeping up on me. Well, I hope you don't have a putty tat at home if you want a putty canary. This is the most common domestic bird in the world. Once you have a canary, you'll turn off your music player just to listen to one of nature's finest songs. One reason why these animals are so loved is because they don't need a lot of attention. Remember how Tweety chilled out in his cage before Sylvester bothered him? Well, it's exactly the same. Its food is also fairly easy to get. These birds are happy with vegetables like spinach, cabbage, and potatoes. You can even let your canary fly free around your room, but don't forget to close the windows. Besides, if you take good care of it, you'll enjoy it for at least 15 years. Most of the time, canaries are happy in their cages, and you don't have to worry about their safety because they know how to defend themselves. Budrigger Endemic to the island of Australia, the Budrigger has traveled from so far to melt your heart. It's one of the most colorful and affordable birds for anyone who is a bird lover. Its colors range from yellow with green feathers to light and dark blue. However, many owners have achieved different colors by strategically breeding them. It's even the perfect size for your pocket, as it measures around 7 inches from head to tail tip and weighs about 1.2 ounces. Interestingly enough, wild budriggers are much smaller than those raised at home. Moreover, these little friends never cease to amaze their owner, as their plumage turns fluorescent when it's under UV light. I'm doing it. Doing what? I'm glowing. I don't think so. This is related to their mating ritual, as the light in their feathers attracts females. I definitely recommend buying one of these colorful buddies. Just keep it away from cats. I speak from experience. Painted Bunting Another classic among households is the Painted Bunting, which brings joy to families from south to southeast of North America with its beautiful colors. Like many of these birds, they also don't require extreme care. Painted buntings only have one partner during their entire life and have no issue living with other couples during mating season. In the wild, they can be very shy and even difficult to spot depending on the habitat. As you can see, its plumage is a rainbow of colors, as bright as SpongeBob's imagination. Imagination! Cockatiel no bird lover's aviary can be complete without a cockatiel. Its iconic feature is its peculiar crest feathers on the head and those orange spots around it, which is why it's impossible to ignore them. It's rather popular among households, especially with children, due to its skills, since its best talent is its charming whistle. However, great caution is recommended when handling it. Its size also makes it an ideal pet since it's only about 12 to 13 inches long. In addition, this little pal can stay by your side for 10 or 20 years with good care. And as if it were a parrot, this cockatiel can learn and repeat some words. You just gotta be patient enough and persistent. This bird loves attention and even enjoys having its head scratched. What's more, if you don't pay attention to them, they tend to get pretty noisy and impatient as soon as you get home. Monk Parakeet This bird native to Argentina will give an exotic vibe to your aviary. The monk parakeet is pretty easy to identify thanks to its bright green feathers and yellow abdomen. Its 11 inches in length make it a perfect bird since it won't take up much room, and it's even better if you get a female as they're 20% smaller. Curiously, even though the natural color of this bird is green, domestic crossbreeds have been successfully produced, obtaining yellow, white, and blue specimens. But if this bird wasn't interesting enough for you, what if I tell you this buddy is the only parrot capable of building a nest out of sticks, branches, and thorns in a tree or some man-made structure? 
Wow. If you get attached to one, I assure you this friendship will last quite a while, since its lifespan is 15 to 20 years. Blue-Headed Parrot The dog is said to be man's best friend, but the blue-headed parrot is here to put an end to that saying. Just like a dog, this bird can feel its owner's mood. Thanks to its colorful appearance, it's one of the favorite pets among bird lovers. The blue-headed parrot can reach up to 12 inches long, making it unique among parrot species. You can also determine its age through its plumage, since they constantly change feathers, including its coloration. Although its life expectancy is 30 years, it can live a little longer if you take good care of it. Senegal Parrot If you enjoy being in peace like Squidward, Good night, Squidward. Good night, SpongeBob. Then the bird you're looking for, and that doesn't seem to be there, is the Senegal parrot. It's native to sub Saharan Africa and is known for its deep green feathers and gray head, as well as its orange chest. Once you find a perfect place for this buddy, you should get a cage with horizontal bars since this bird enjoys climbing them. They can be shy, so give them some time to get comfy or the only thing you'll get from them is a bite. Orange-Winged Parrot The orange-winged parrot is perhaps the most popular parrot of all, to such an extent that you surely know someone who has or had one. Its natural habitat is South America from Colombia to southern Peru, Bolivia, and Brazil. Its distinctive plumage is deep green, like the Amazon rainforest. This parrot is the opposite of a troublemaker. It adapts fairly easily to domestic life and has no issue living with other parrot species. It undoubtedly is the cool guy at the party. Of course, it needs its space, so make sure to buy a huge cage that stays warm during winter and can accommodate its 13 inches in size. Its diet should be varied and balanced. Seeds are always an option, but you can also give them bird seed. And don't forget about fresh veggies and fruits. This bird can be your family pet for generations since its lifespan is 80 years. Rosy-Faced Lovebird the rosy-faced lovebird loves attention as much as Puka. Don't even think about leaving it alone in its cage. It's recommended to buy them in pairs so they can keep each other company. Once they get used to you, these small birds will show you their affection in different ways. One of them is allowing you to carry them in your shirt pocket. If you're concerned that it won't fit, don't worry, the bird's only six inches long. I'm sure a lot of people will be amazed to see its beautiful green feathers and orange head. This little buddy is native to Africa and can live up to 15 years with good care. Well, since you made it this far, you'll now meet a bird that's almost a celebrity. Great Parrot Let me introduce you to a parrot known for being the best at talking, the Gray Parrot. That may be the main reason why many people want one. Not even Logan Paul could say no. It's also considered a clever, charming, and quite sociable bird. The gray parrot is native to Africa, where it lives in organized flocks, and it's easy to identify thanks to its gray feathers, black beak, and red tail. It's medium-sized and can reach up to 13 inches long. Males can weigh up to 18 ounces, while females are usually under 16 ounces. If you get along with this parrot, you'll have a loyal friend for a long time, since the lifespan of these birds ranges from 70 to 90 years. Unlike many other birds, these parrots require a lot of attention, and given their intelligence and sensitive nature, they can get depressed if ignored. And now you're gone. It isn't a highly recommended pet if there are children around due to how large and strong its beak and its sharp claws are. So, only responsible adults, please. Well, this is the end of the journey around the bird kingdom, my friends. Ready to adopt a bird? Which one? Tell me in the comments, and subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos.